Good morning. Okay, so it's actually really early morning for me. It's uh, 7.14 in the morning. Well, I guess it's kind of early morning for me. Um, but anyway, I changed my schedule around because I needed to um, kind of change my kids' schedule around a little bit. Um, because one of them is very sufficient in self-learning, but the other one is only eight. So I have to be a lot more hands-on. So I need to, uh, we made schedules, hence this. But now I have some file folders. So I think I'm going to collage them and just cover them, use them for like um, bases or whatever. And we can do that today. That way I can get it off my desk. But anyway, um, so basically the only time that I have for recording is early morning after my husband goes to work or later on after my husband gets home. So I anticipate the evening is going to be fairly full. Um, we have like basically what we did is we scattered breaks everywhere throughout the schedule. Um, so it wasn't just, you know, okay, let's do the schoolwork and do it until it's done. But for my son, it's a little easier, I think, for that. But for, let's see, what do I want to use? For my daughter, it's a little bit more to ask, I think. Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out where to put this because I don't want to lose it. And I have a tendency of losing things. Good. All right, we'll grab some pages real quick. These are some generic, um, I've used these before. They're just generic um, vintage style background sheets. Probably gonna need more than just these though. So let's see, I do have some scraps so far, not a lot, this is one of my pieces that's left from my lace. I don't think I'll be able to use it in the, on these notebooks because it's not the right color, but I do have some scraps I can play with. So let's get these bad boys covered real quick. Um, so anyway, how are you guys doing? Let me zoom you out just a little bit. You're pretty zoomed in. All right. Wrong way. There we go. So we you guys can see what I'm doing. So anyway, how are you guys? I hope everyone is doing well this morning. Um, it's actually kind of fitting though because I'm recording in the morning and I've got it to where it sets to automatically release in the morning as well. The video, I mean. So, I mean, it really is morning. Somewhere, anywhere, anyway. Actually, a pretty, pretty good fitting. A little bit of extra on that side. Boop. So this wasn't necessarily planned. Then again, this I wasn't really sure what I was going to do in this video. So I mean, it works out. Um, I mean, you can make some super easy pockets and tags with these. I would say these will probably end up being journaling cards, to be honest with you. Um, I'll put this one on the end, just like that.
Where's my book? There it is. My stuff goes bank a lot. So basically with this schedule, anything before 8 a.m. is free time for my youngest daughter because she normally gets up around, you know, 6, 7. And um, anything before 9 is free time for my son. And I think I'm going to chop off this tab here. Anyway, um... Nine was being like wishful thinking, I think. But we did uh, find a setting in our router um, that allows us to shut down the internet in our house. So my internet shuts down at 1030 every day. And it comes back online. I think it's 5.30 or 6.30. But I have two teenagers in my house. So it was the only thing I could think of to like. The 19 year old I'm not really as worried about. But the 14 year old I am. Obviously. Because he still has school that he has to do right. So he can't be sleeping until 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's just not going to work. And I know that's pretty typical for that age, but I just can't make, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm just a mean mommy because I'm like, nope, not going to happen. Then again, it wouldn't be the first time that someone said I was being mean, especially one of my children. <laughs> but I think that having a more definitive schedule would be better for everyone involved, I think. I think I got crooked somehow. I think it was this part over here. And... And these are just going to be very generic. Just cover them and have them ready to go for anything that I need them for. And so it's very, very simple, easy, easy peasy um, journaling cards. So if we still have some room left here, we can take this one just kind of do this number across the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do here. Might overlap just a little bit. Take my scissors. And see, I used two file folders for each of the schedules that I made for my kids. And so these are the remnants of those schedules. Because I didn't use the whole thing, obviously. I've got um, Sydney is taking five classes and Porter's taking four classes now. He was taking nine classes, which, whew, Nelly Potter, that is a lot. So anyway, um, so they weren't the same size. So I had some left over. And I figured what a great base we can make with these. Eh. 
then you never know they were folders. Well, unless you tell people. Which, you know, your prerogative. And voila, cards. Well, not cards yet. Not yet, most of them. Oh, moved my trash bag. I have a just regular paper socks um, behind me, or that I use for trash. I get rather. Normally, it's beside my desk, but. I was using my scale last night for an order, and so I moved my trash can. Now it's behind me. All right, there we go. All right, so let's trim this up real quick, and you don't have to do this part. Uh, you could definitely just kind of back it all the way to the edge of the paper. But I am going to trim this part here. There we go. Wait. It's just, it's weird and awkward because I have to turn around. Okay, so let's grab some coffee dyed paper. Nothing fancy, nothing special, just some paper. You can use pretty much any kind of paper you want. I'm just going to grab a couple sheets of what I have handy. Just that. Okay. And. Go here and then here. Um, the edges better than that. Could use a card as well to like spread everything out. Oh, make sure when you glue it, you put enough glue down, otherwise, this will happen. use this on this one so I think that'll use a big portion of that you could also use a different glue if you wanted um, fabric tack here you could also use tape here use tape um, so if I'm going to use tape I think I'm going to cut it first
So you're not limited for any of the adhesives. Use whatever you got. It doesn't have to be special or fancy or, you know, whatevs. I will advise if you use tape, I wouldn't necessarily sew around it. Um, it's your discretion. But oop, tape is a lot tackier than glue. And it is more likely to get onto your needles. So, just be careful with that. Alright, so my last sheet of paper here. I'm going to overlap a little bit too. And you could also use a pencil to draw. That way you're not guessing. I was like, why is that not sticking down? Because it doesn't have anything to stick down to. And then just pull it. Polo Zilang. So you also don't need a glow bucket to use tape. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could use one if you wanted. I actually used to use tape all the time. I don't know why I switched. But... It is different. There we go. My glues of choice, I don't know, about five years ago used to be Fabri-Tac and tape. That was it. Those were my glues of choice. Now, I have glue all over the place. Alright, um, I think this one would probably be better. Do it that way. That's it. You can chop up your cards, make them into pretty much whatever you so desire. Like I said, this wasn't necessarily my intended video, but then again, I didn't really have an intended video other than working on the journals some more, which was fine, one way or the other. I will say also with working with tape, you learn how to get a very steady hand. Because once it's down, it's down. That's it. 
All right, so let's go with some cards. Move this out of the way. We're done with that for now. Um, let's see. Let's do. Well, we could just do the edge of this little paper here, whatever size that is. Move this up just a smidge. And then there's another card. Voila. And then another three cards right here. If we follow the line of the papers. So there's one. There's one. Clean up the edges ever so slightly. All right, and that's it. And we just ended up with what five journaling cards in 20 minutes. So I would say that that is super easy peasy. That's kind of funny because I think my last video was easy peasy. And you have just basic journaling cards. Nothing too fancy, uh, nothing like specifically designed for any one project, but you could use them for all kinds of stuff. So these are just going to go into my little folder of this stuff is done already. Oh, I need to start using this stuff is done already folder. But anyway, yeah, that's that's about as easy as you can get. And then you can also just take, you know, any of your themed paper, whether it is vintage theme or otherwise, and just back it. Just like that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use tape again. I like tape. And if you did want to sew these, you could and one and wanted to use tape, you could do the inside of the edge instead of the very edge. Like kind of leave a quarter of an inch gap between the edge of the paper and your tape. And it always lays pretty flat. I mean, unless you do something real wonky and bulk up your tape, which you can. They do have dimensional tape. It is foam tape for anyone who doesn't know, because not everybody used to dabble in the world of just generalized paper crafting. And there you go, another journaling card. Simple as that. And let's see, we've got this one here that needs backing because uh, it was the back. So what I'm going to do here is back this and then use these scraps to finish that off. And this is going to be a little bit thicker because it's Vampiria scrapbook paper. Excuse me. Yeah. 
place this whole strip here and just lay it right down there, just like that. Or we might even be able to do it with that. No, I don't think that one's long enough. This one might be. this We go and we got another card I'm gonna leave this one out though because it directly deals with the um, journals I'm working on so that's it um, we managed to make um, what was that seven now seven cards yeah like in 30 minutes so and as you can see you can use a variety of different glues uh, and this is our scraps from two pieces of coffee dyed paper, eight and a half by 11. That's our scraps, that's it. And we used every bit of the file folder scraps that we had. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five. And then this is just backing on the, the paper that I used here. So that's six. And then this is a scrap from the journals I'm making. So that's seven. So seven journaling cards in 30 minutes. I think that that's pretty amazing and very, very, very simple. So I have no idea what my plan is for tomorrow's video, but I'm sure it'll be fun. And uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoy making some really easy journaling cards. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.